Okay, my name's April Price. I'm representing uh, Martin County today. So I'm not Kathy Fitzpatrick, obviously, and I'm not Jessica Garland. So you got uh, number three on the list in presenting for our Martin County today. Hopefully Jim just took all the hard answers or questions for me. Um, so the first slide just shows um, pretty much their cycle of our artificial reef. Um, in Martin County, um, they do one of the county, many counties in the state that had uh, staging issues. Um, in the past years have worked a great relationship with our landfill. Um, we have a staging area at Phipps Park, which is quite a way up the river, but it's worked very well um, in keeping the pro uh, program viable. And the landfill part actually worked out very well for the contractors. They actually just send them with their um, concrete right to our staging area, which kind of sent, saves them a step. So the extra step in having to um, barge stuff from Phipps Point um, kind of was circumvented by the contractors having an easier drop off at the landfill. So it's, it's been able to work. Um, I do like Jim's uh, suggestion as far as fine though, I would take that up if, and there's a Southwest version, I mean a West Coast version if you're on the West Coast. Um, just as some samples of, you know, how they go from the landfill, truck to the staging site, to the barge, where we deploy them. Um, Martin County um, this past year has been um, working on doing some uh, multi-beam surveying. They got a grant to do three square miles of surveying and what you see there are their permitted, already permitted sites. Um, those lines are in uh, nautical miles, the distance from the inlet to those uh, sites. So this is some of the uh, multi-beam survey work that was done on the Donaldson Reef area. Um, 1.583 square miles of the Donaldson Reef was surveyed in the multi-beam technology. But it's really cool to see that some of the stuff that we wondered, you know, where it was, was it still available? Was it still reefing that you can't always see on the um, monitoring dives? Um, it's pretty impressive how much is actually showing up on these surveys and identifying that there's still materials there from uh, decades past. Um, this is obviously, I think you guys can pretty much tell that's uh, concrete poles in, uh, <laughs> in, in the mix of uh, what's on our shallow reef. And then you can see the depths of where those are from that survey. Um, this is the South County site, 1.8, 62 miles in the survey. You can kind of tell by the activity what we've had there. Site number 11, much deeper site. You can see a sample of what they're getting out of these surveys. Um, just over the port portions of the Sorokin Reef. And that's the hilly glass red that was uh, deployed in, I think it was the summer 2014 that we deployed that, 2014 or 2015. I don't have my right reading glasses on. Um, just started part of the Ernst Reef, so you can see we're start, they're starting in this different areas and this is what's been able to get done over the past, I want to say 18 months. Mango Reef. Another reef that had a lot of uh, older stuff on it that we were able to identify. Uh, lionfish Roundup is something that Martin County also has done through the artificial reef program. They identified very early that there was a lionfish problem um, on our artificial reefs and they started their effort in 2011. Since then, uh, last year we had our most successful um, roundup with a uh, over 70 divers um, participating. Unfortunately, uh, we lost one of our premier divers in that time frame, not due to diving, but that's when Kerry Dillon passed away. And he was as much a part of our artificial reefing in Martin County as he was in St. Lucie County. And that was a big loss to all of us, not having Kerry there for that, but we uh, soldiered through and pulled it off. And he has been missed severely in our area. And these are the folks with Martin County who uh, support their artificial reef program. You can see there are uh, private and public partnerships within uh, developing some of those reefs. MCAC Reef Fund has been a strong partner 
uh, Sea Life Habitat Improvement Project, Florida Power and Light, and all of our local contractors. Um, this past year, they've contracted with uh, McCulley Marine Services, Sunshine Land Design, Land and Sea Surveying, who did most of the multi-beam stuff, and Sea Diversified. And of course, the Coastal Eco Group and um, Coastal Systems International for, I believe they were also involved in the multi-beam survey work. Um, if you have any technical questions, because I am not a scientist, um, I would re refer you to the Martin County office, but I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you may have today. Any questions for April? Sweet. Thank you, and thank you for all of your efforts in artificial reefing. <laughs>